Hello and welcome to a very special family story time all about unicorns. All right. We are going to start by singing our welcome song, but let's make sure you brought everything you need. You need your hands. Show me your hands. Good. And do your hands work? Clap them together. All right, they work. Did you bring your feet? All right, show me your feet. <laughs> and do your feet work? Can you stomp on the ground? Okay, good job. Now we are going to start with our song. Ready? We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. Now with your feet. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> I'm so glad you could join us today. Raise your hand if you like unicorns. Me too. In fact, I brought my unicorn friend along. Her name is Sparkles. And I'm wearing my very special unicorn headband. So I feel like a unicorn too. And we are going to read some fun books. We're going to do a fun song. And we're going to do some unicorn training today. All right, let's start with some unicorn stretches. So we need to take our arms and our hands and stretch really, really high in the air. Ready? One, two, three. Good. Now stretch all the way down to the ground. We can pretend we have a horn on our head like a unicorn and try to get our horn all the way to the ground as low as we can. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, that's hard, isn't it? But you did great. And let's see, what else should we do for some unicorn stretches? We can take our legs and we can kick. Nice job. Can you do some unicorn hops? To do that, you need to make a horn with your fingers way on your head like a unicorn, and you need to jump. Ready, set, go. Jump, jump, jump. Good. Can you do it on one foot? Ready, jump, jump, jump. Good, now do it on the other foot. Jump, jump, jump. All right, nice job. I have some unicorn books I'd like to read. And my first book, oh, would you like to see? Oh, my unicorn likes this book. Look how excited she is. Our first book is called, You Don't Want a Unicorn. But everyone wants a unicorn, right? Right, Sparkles? Sparkles says yes. Are unicorns like the best pet ever? Yes, they are. Well, then let's see what this book is talking about. It says you don't want a unicorn. We're going to sit down and read it together. Sparkles, you might have to move. You don't want a unicorn. Written by Amy Dykeman. <gasps> Oh, look at, I think these are all Sparkle's friends. Beautiful unicorns. You don't want a unicorn. Oh, look, a fountain. Do you know what you're supposed to do when you see a fountain and you have a coin? You're supposed to flip the coin in and make a wish. But wait! You were going to wish for a unicorn, weren't you? 
Wishing for a unicorn is a big mistake. Just step away and blip. Uh-oh. Things are about to get... Poof! Ugly. Trust me. Oh, look at this beautiful unicorn. Sparkles, will you look at that unicorn? Oh, she likes it. Look at all the rainbows. Sure, having a unicorn seems fun at first. All right, super fun. Fine, it's awesome, okay? But it's not worth it. What you don't know is unicorns shed. Oh my gosh, look at all this glitter. And glitter gets everywhere. Unicorns scratch. Uh-oh. And no matter how hard you try, unicorns can't be house trained. Uh-oh. You don't want that. Trust me. <laughs> don't even get me started on the jumping, the chewing, and the burping. Burp. Look at what comes out when she burps. A beautiful rainbow. That doesn't seem so bad. Hey, not bad. You could probably pull this off if it wasn't for the biggest. Top secret, nobody knows about problem with having a unicorn. Unicorns live in groups. And when a unicorn gets lonely, ding, 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 it calls a friend. Poof! No! Right when you're thinking this could be double super fun. Poof! There's another. Poof! And another. Poof! And another. Great! You've unleashed the most destructive force in the universe. A unicorn party! Oh my gosh, I see unicorns dancing. I see unicorns. Ooh, this one might be wrecking things. And this one's eating all the chips. And look at this boy. He does not look like he's having fun. I told you. Why didn't you trust me? Quick, grab your piggy bank. Run. We have to wish them away. Now he's putting some coins in the fountain. Plip, 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 plip. Poof. That one needs to go back to, it's for the best, trust me. So now we have to throw our last coin in, flip it in, flip, and poof. Aw, cheer up. You could get a goldfish or a nice rock. Or what is this? Uh-oh. Stop. You don't want one of those either. Trust me. Uh-oh. Flip. Poof. What do you think that boy wished for now? A dragon. Oh, my gosh. Oh, right. Would you want a dragon for a pet? What do you think, Sparkles? Are dragons nice? Oh, my unicorn likes dragons. I don't know, maybe a dragon would be a good pet. I like my unicorn though. And I was wondering if you would want to do some unicorn training with me. What do you think? Oh, she's excited. Okay, we are going to pretend that we are unicorns. So we have some very special training things to go through. First thing we need to do 
is point to your hooves. When you're a unicorn, you don't have feet, you have hooves instead. Let's see your hooves. Ah, yes, and we want to stomp our hooves. Good job. Now can you stomp them faster? Good, now really fast. Nice job. The next thing we need to do is learn how to toss our mane. When you are a unicorn, you don't have beautiful hair. You have a gorgeous mane. So I might have to move my horn to practice tossing my mane like this. Can you do that? Toss your mane. Good, and you wanna see, you wanna see Sparkle's mane? It's right here. Can you toss it? <laughs> All right. So we know how to stomp our hooves and toss our manes. Now you need to shake your horn. So I have Sparkle's horn right here and she shakes it. But we're going to pretend that we have a unicorn horn on the top of her head. So take your two pointer fingers and put the tops together and we'll put it on our head like this. Does it look like I have a horn on my head? Yeah. Now we're going to shake it. Oh, look, my unicorn's shaking her horn too. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And now shake it back and forth like this. And side to side like this. Nice work. Now we need to learn how to twitch our tail. So to do that, you need to turn around and shake your tail. Good. Here, like this. Here's my unicorn tail. Shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> Very good. Let's review. We stomp our hooves, toss our mane, Shake our horn. And we twitch our tail. Turn and twitch. <laughs> nice job. Now we need to learn how to run like a unicorn. They don't run like us, they prance. They prance like this. Yes, they kind of jump from foot to foot. Oh, you are very good at prancing. And now can you prance really fast? Ready, set, go. Really fast, really fast. <laughs> nice job. And most importantly, when you are a unicorn, you need to soar. Do you know what that means? When you soar, you fly. <coughs> so we are going to learn how to fly. All right, we'll turn to our side like this. And we're going to start to prance. And then we'll soar like this with our arms in the air and our feet out. We kind of jump really high. Can you do it? Prance, 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 and Yeah. 
and then we make a horn and we shake our horn. What do we do after that? We turn around and twitch our tail. Ready? Good. And now we prance. And then we soar. Nice job. One more time, but really fast. Stomp your hooves. Toss your mane. Shake your horn. Twitch your tail. Prance around. And soar. All right, nice job, everyone. I'm proud of you. Well, now that we are all trained unicorns, I think we can do a unicorn song. All right, let's see. We need to get our unicorn horn ready and watch me. Unicorn, unicorn, touch your toes. Touch your toes. Unicorn, unicorn, touch your nose. Unicorn, unicorn, pat your head. Unicorn, unicorn, oh, go to bed. Hmm. Unicorn, unicorn, get up now. Unicorn, unicorn, take a bow. All right, great job. We'll do that again one more time, a little faster. Get your unicorn horn ready. Unicorn, unicorn, touch your toes. Unicorn, unicorn, touch your nose. Unicorn, unicorn, pat your head. Unicorn, unicorn, oh, go to bed. Hmm. Unicorn, unicorn, get up now. Unicorn, unicorn, take the bow. Fabulous job, very nice. And I have this unicorn bubble maker too, to celebrate our graduation from unicorn training school. Nice job, everyone. I think we have time for one more fabulous unicorn book. Are you ready? Have you ever had a bad day? Bad days are awful. But did you know that unicorns have bad days too? Yeah, that's what happens with Kevin the unicorn. He has a very bad day. Let's read It's Not All Rainbows by Jessica von Inerbner. And here's Kevin. He says, wait, what? And a lot of times in books, there's a little note in the beginning for who the book is dedicated to. And this one is dedicated to anyone who's had a bad day. If you've ever had a bad day, make a very grumpy face right now. Let's see your grumpy face. Good, good grumpy face. Okay. Everyone knows unicorns are perfect. They bring glitter and happiness to everything around them. Their smiles alone make rainbows appear. <gasps> Unicorns are pretty great. When you're a unicorn, every day is filled with magical awesomeness. Oh, I see rainbows, I see cupcakes and donuts, beautiful stars. That is how it was for Kevin. Oh, Kevin looks happy. Kevin looks great. Until the morning he woke up on the floor. Ooh, that's not fun. This has never happened before. Something felt different. Look at Kevin's crazy hair. Something was different. 
but Kevin knew just what to do. He sees a sign that says, always remember to smile. Keep it happy, he reminded himself. Always remember to smile. Can I see your smile? Smile really, really big. Yeah. There, Kevin, Kevin decided he's gonna have a good day. With an extra big smile, Kevin set out for a glittery and fantastic day. Ooh, in his nice car. Sure, his day had started off on the wrong hoof, but Kevin was positive he could turn it around. However, things did not go as planned. He ran out of gas. And then, whoops, his tire came off. Uh-oh. And then what? A big rainstorm right over Kevin. He's not smiling now. By the time he got to town, Kevin felt a little frazzled. He'd never had a less than perfect morning. Keep it happy, Kevin told himself. Ooh, maybe a glitter soda would get his day back on track. Holy hooves, that's a great idea. The line was long, but Kevin was sure it would move quickly. Oh, I see a lot of other friends in line, even a narwhal. It did not move quickly. And by the time Kevin got to the front, they were out of glitter soda. Oh, keep it happy, he said to himself. Hi, friend, don't worry. I'm gonna set you up with a free, ooh, a free one, this would be great. Ooh. Clam juice. Oh, do you think Kevin likes clam juice? I don't think so. And she says, have a sparkly day. Kevin kept a smile on his face, even though his insides didn't feel smiley at all. And then, bump, sploosh. Uh-oh, Kevin ran into someone. Oh, sorry, are you okay? Totally, feeling happy and fantastic, just like always. Who doesn't want to smell like mm, the ocean? Oh, suddenly Kevin made a lot of seagull friends. Kevin continued on his way. Whoa, that's a lot of birds. Here he goes, he goes to the park. And, oh no, he runs into all of this syrup and syrup is very sticky. Here he goes. Oh, now he ran into lots of cupcakes. And, oh, he's gonna go in the party pit. Maybe that'll be fun. Oh, he goes to a birthday party. And, oh my gosh, now he has to run through all these dogs. Oh, they're chasing him, run! These puppies are so cute, he says. Oh, and then he trips all the way past the bushes. Look at poor Kevin. Did his bad day get any better? Mm -mm. Oh, Kevin could no longer hide what he was really feeling. Oh, I see him getting madder and madder. And finally he says, Today is not awesome or fantastic, and it's definitely not sparkly. It's horrible. This is a really horrible, lousy, awful day. Oh, sometimes that helps, right? Just to say it out loud. Poor Kevin. And look at all of these unicorn friends. They seem to be having a good day. They look a little worried about Kevin. And then someone says, I'm having a bad day too. There's clam juice on my favorite shirt. Someone else says, this has been stuck on my horn for a week and I've been pretending it's not there. The purple unicorn said, there's glitter in my eye. And the pink one says, there's glitter in both my eyes. 
It turns out unicorns don't always have perfect magical days. So it sounds like everybody has bad days sometimes. And that's okay. We learned that everybody has bad days sometimes, even unicorns. Right, Sparkles? Yeah, and that's okay because the next day will be better and better. All right, we are almost done with story time. We'll sing our Zoom, Zoom, Zoom goodbye song, and then I hope to see you again, okay? Let's clap when we sing today. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll be there very soon. In five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Good, good, good. All right, do you know the song now, Sparkles? Now Sparkles knows it. This time when we sing, we'll sing a little quieter and get louder and louder and louder. And at the end, we'll soar. Can we do it? Okay. Zoom, whoops. <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll be there very soon. In five, 